So there you are. That was that. <laughs> what do you think of that then? I liked the idea of having like some big, uh, some big Pikmin week thing. And so that was the way I sort of found myself making it work. Um, that's loud, isn't it? Let me turn that down. How about that? That's half, that's half level. That's good. I might do that for all the others. Um, now also, just before we uh, jump into nighttime missions, I am actually going to um, have a lunch break. Lunch is currently being sent up to me at the moment to help me get through things. Um, but it should be lovely. And then we can get right into a whole new Pikmin. We've had a handful, you know, it's been two days at the uh, the garden or whatever the place is called. So many caves, man. The caves are so great for that Pikmin 2 vibe, but it is a bit of a grind. It also, I think it feels bigger because it's like bigger areas. <laughs> Where did he go? <laughs> Pikmin week, yay. Pikmathon, yeah. Pikmathon, that sounds a bit weird. Pikmathon. You know, add a G at the end of there and you're suddenly getting cancelled, but you know, whatever. <laughs> um, but yes, uh, if you couldn't tell from whatever I described there, I will be going to sleep. Uh, this will be a sleeping stream eventually. It's a sleepathon, a an actual subathon until this game's finished. I have a whole plan back here. We're gonna be going to sleep. You're gonna be. I'll have entertainment in the background. Usually, you know, other streamers might have like a council of moderators um, for these things, but uh, I don't. I don't have a council of moderators. Or I do, I guess, but I don't have it planned that you guys have entertainment for it. So I've got my own form of entertainment planned. I hope that's a good enough. Um, collection for now. It's all right. How's everybody doing though? Is everybody excited for it? Um, food hasn't just arrived, so give me a little bit of time. Let's just have a chat. Have chats in space. It's it's in between the days anyway, isn't it? So, what are you eating? Uh, so I'll be eating a very, very gourmet meal. Cocktail sausages dipped in ketchup and mayonnaise. And also a Cornish pasty dipped in ketchup and mayonnaise. <laughs> I'm a healthy boy. What can I say? Um, and then, I don't know what's planned for dinner, something proper cooked. It's the only big hurdle of this big stream. I'm away suddenly for 40 hours and sleep, so I'm unfortunately unable to cook myself. I'd love to have a segment one day where I have a second camera set up. I have a new background that's like a kitchen, and I cook in-universe, but for what it is, it's fine, you know? Fun fact, bulb orbs are in the game. Hey, don't you push it with your spoilers, you. <laughs> Yes. Hi, Daz. Hello, Tong. What's up? Um, on a similar note, I guess I'll ask now, now that we're three hours in, um, is anybody interested in being a um, moderator going forwards? There are a lot of um, Pikmin spoilers out there. YouTube already is a minefield, and I wouldn't be surprised if we have griefers sometimes popping up in chat. Now, I had a collection of like five moderators at the start. I imagine a good chunk are still here. But obviously, we're three hours in to what will be 40 hours. Would anyone like to handle the second shift of moderating work? All you have to do is time out anyone that's getting a bit close to spoiler territory. We, you know, we don't want to learn about anything that we can't blind react to. We don't want to ruin a reaction. Uh, and anyone that's really malicious, like that just says, the final boss is blank without the blank, ban them. And that's the job. I need someone to help keep my chat clean. Um, would anyone like to tackle the second shift? Want to be trusted with that? Uh, if you do well enough and there's no major issues with trusting you, maybe we'll make that more of a routine thing and we can build up a sort of Daz Council in the future or something like that. Um, let me know if anyone's interested in it. I can do it and I could. That's Essie Luna and Mr. Gibble. I've seen the entire game, says Mr. Gibble. I'll take it. You don't have to. It obviously great qualifications. Um, you don't have to see the entire game, you just have to read chats that might be spoiling it. So be careful, you might spoil yourself, but also people might be lying. And if they're lying, good, but time them out out of malice, you know, if they're doing it maliciously. If it's the final boss is Thanos, they get a pass, you know. Unless the final boss is actually Thanos in some form and it's actually a purple enemy, I will be going back through this chat to ban you posthumously. No, posthumously, I should say. <laughs> um, but that would be the only example for that. Just generally, help us keep this side of things clean. Generally, as well, um, I know I've been slightly called out in the past, uh, I'm reading my chat from like five chats messages backwards. So, you know, I'm not reading these chat messages. I'm reading the, the topper ones. 
uh, because then it's like that's been through enough processing that the mods have like approved it. So if you feel I'm not replying to you, I apologize. I am purposely delaying myself and the chat that I see is delayed in its own right. Um, so in that regard, um, my apologies. I am paying attention to chat, but also a lot of times I'm, I'm being cautious because it's big spoiler day, you know? What do you think of Ochi? I love Ochi. Such a fantastic addition. It is a shame that we've lost three captains and now have just two, but I think it worked to pace it out better and more, you know? Pikmin 3 went by so fast because you can juggle too well. I love the additions he does. I think it's a great compromise on everything. Have you seen the Smash Bros. Ochi? I haven't, but I'm sure he is busted. <laughs> Hold up, I'm gonna be back. I'm gonna go get breakfast. All right, enjoy it. Um, am I accidentally banning people? No, I haven't. Okay, it just doesn't show your logo. Um, lovely. Been a sub for five years, so go on, boss. Lovely, Gabby. Come on in here, then. You are a standard moderator. You have the ability to eviscerate people's messages. Good, just woke up. Be careful on YouTube. I almost got spoiled on the final boss. Yeah, Tong, I know exactly what you're talking about. I almost did too. I saw the thumbnail, but it glazed over my head that I didn't fully process what I was seeing, so I don't know what it was. I think it was a screenshot from like the final cutscene, not the final boss, like it's when they leave the planet or something. I have no idea. Something like that kind of cutscene vibe, that's all I know. True, I've seen so many. Um, yeah. I don't know what the second half of that comment is, so I'm not reading it, just in case. I am not to be trusted with power, Grandmaster Daz. All right, I appreciate the honesty, David. <laughs> Spoiler, red Pikmin are in the game. Game has blue Pikmin. You can pick them in. I love when it's obvious, spoilers. That makes me feel happy. Man, the memes that the Pikmin community come up with though, are so wild. Like, the Nintendo billboard, the, the, the New York billboard, and stuff like that, and like the... Our minds really have turned to mush. I've got mushy brain moments planned, but I don't think the game's given me the opportunity for it just yet. I want full chaos, and I'm sure I'm gonna get it. And when I do, let me tell you, I'm gonna milk it. It's gonna be good when we get there. Um, obviously, it's the early part of the stream. We're just building up into it. It will come through. The stream's 40 hours long, okay? We got time. We'll enjoy the calm before the storm. And then bloody hell. I mean, the music already is so bombastic. I don't know if I'm gonna... I guess I'll just blare the music on top of some boss music sometimes. We'll make something work. It's fine. I'd love to mod, but I'm playing the game right now as well. I can trust you with that. I'll, I'll allow it. If you'd love to mod, give it a try. Even if, like, you're the least active out of the new second shift gang. Uh, first shift gang, by the way, if you're still around, you are still moderators. I'll just have, like, a collective of, like, 20 by the end of the stream. It's fine by me. Um, just, it'd be nice to always have a constant flow of some moderators to pluck out the bad, you know? Ochi is adorable, I want him in the palm of my hand and want a nuzzle. He will be the size of the palm of your hand. He's about, about this big, isn't he? Something like that. The Tong, the Tong that does Pikmin 3 hack videos, that's that Tong, yeah. I am also subscribed, lurking in my own little way. Freaky, crazy. Pikmin creators, it's lovely to see. After being away for years, it's nice to see the people that have like risen up and done their own things. Because some of them are really interesting people. There's like audio Pikmin people, theory Pikmin people, data mining Pikmin theories, hackers, not theories, data mining, just data mining files, and then like hacking and uh, custom creation. It's really nice to see. And I'm hopping right back in in September. But you'll hear that in another advert for another pause that we have to have at some point. The New York billboard was wild, yeah. Yeah, it was! And I'm glad! It's like Pikmin's actually in the mainstream. It's so lovely. Hey, Daz, I just want to say that I've been watching your channel since the beginning of the Pikmin days. I want to say thank you for everything that you've done in this community. Oh, thank you very much. I appreciate that. It's, uh, I am... I am very blessed, I think, that so many people have come back after all this time, you know? Um... Like, I... I... I wouldn't say I abandoned people. I obviously I tried Pikmin for seven years and then stopped eventually. Um, but I'm glad now that Pikmin falls back that I, like, I I got so many messages of people being like, please play Pikmin again. It's it's back, come back, and it's been luscious, you know. And there are all types of times where I'll be watching a Pikmin video and I see me get mentioned in the comments randomly, and I'm like, I'm glad people didn't forget. It's nice to be wanted and appreciated in a way that I don't necessarily have on my main channel. I've grown in numbers. 
but the community, there isn't a community there. It's just people that love movies. It's generic and vague and brand, and it's fine. Um, but having like this smaller niche of Pikmin community that are like passionate and invested is so nice. So I'm going to juggle the two as best I can. This one pays the bills, but this one, wow, special place in my heart. You understand? You got that? A video spoiled two bosses for me with just a thumbnail alone. Oh. I long remember the times when I uh, had to remove... Uh, who was that from my YouTube subscription? Who's the guy that always posts all the final bosses in every game? Uh, he does like walkthroughs of everything. Famously bad. Ah, oh, well, I don't remember. But um, I removed him at one point. I'd already beaten Hey Pikmin and I saw a Hey Pikmin one and I'm like, delete. I feel like his name was like Phoenix, but it wasn't. Prozafia Gaming. That was it. I eviscerated that guy from my sub box. I tried to eviscerate Video Game Database. That's the channel you've got to be afraid of on YouTube at the moment because they've, they've revealed the final ending. I tried to like press the triple button to delete him and it just started playing the video. So like, screw me, eh? But I haven't seen it. I don't know what's happened. Also, I just caught up with the current times. I started from the beginning of the stream and have caught up. Wow, well, welcome, Elle. You skimmed all the boring parts. You've basically done my edit for me. I appreciate that. <laughs> Mod speedrun any percent glitchless. <sighs> one, I mean, hey, one day I'll probably do that for Pikmin 4. Not gonna lie. God, that was a long song, wasn't it? Um, lunch is still being prepared for me upstairs uh, or downstairs. Having a bit of an issue, but actually, that's another point. You can't see any of it. Um, but since the last time I streamed the demo, I've fully moved house. It's it's nice. It's a lot smaller, but it's cozy because of that. Like my room is essentially the size of this backing. Um, in fact, it's. <laughs> less that way but more that way um you know it's it's a rectangle not a not a sphere um but it's nice it's nice to be in a cuddly cozy place because last winter i like froze solid <coughs> you will probably get around to seeing more of it in a bit but i hope you enjoy it don't forget boss fight database 2 yes that might be who i'm talking about it could be them yeah Does it subscribe to me? Yes, Tong, but it might be on a, a little lurker account. So don't check your subscriptions. I swear it's it's because I have I have three channels. One watches, one's the main channel, and one's the second channel. It used to be that they'd watch what's relevant to the other two channels on those channels. Now I just use all of them as my lurker channel. So one of them's got the name Daz in their name. <laughs> you might be able to find him, but <laughs> you know, who knows? That's the guy who spoiled me with a thumbnail. Yeah, man. Boss fight database. We hate that man. <laughs> Screw that guy. I've been avoiding clicking the YouTube home button. Yeah, that's also part of the reason I'm doing this super massive stream on top of passion and, uh, you know, general eagerness to play a game with uh, 10 days of free time to do it. But also, um, I don't want to get spoiled. So I can't. I'm not watching any more YouTube until this is done. And I don't need to. <laughs> Other than sleeping. Which I have a preparation for, I have a playlist prepared, pa -pa 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 -pa. so I don't even need to like worry about the 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 side things. It'll be fine. It'll all be fine. Okay. You're hoping for Bulbin in this game? Me too. But also not really. Um, we'll, we'll see. I got vaguely spoiled about something Pikmin related. Reading the news articles about Pikmin. Uh, they released. Have you seen this? There's new Pikmin articles about like the concept art, talking to the developers. Um, which has been really interesting. Uh, but maybe we'll go through that at one of the breaks. We'll see. Anyway, I was going to say break's almost finished. It's not. But lunch is almost here. <laughs> I c I'll... <laughs> when it's time, okay? It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me. I was scrolling on YouTube while watching you and I saw a title with all the bosses in it. <sighs> it's a shame as well because Pikmin 4 is like 10 years in the waiting. You know, it's such a big spoiler it feels like to me you know so um hopefully i'll fix it for myself i'm also always gonna have i uh, mentioned this earlier but i'll mention it now three hours in uh, i'm updating the title of this stream to where we are in the game because i don't want someone to just come in randomly in 20 hours time and then see the final boss so it'll always be area two area three final boss end game whatever 
So if uh, if I haven't changed it, shout at me to change the title if we get to area three. Anyway, lunch is here, so give me a second. So why don't worry about it? It's all good. Ah, wow, I'm getting I'm getting a feast. Thank you very much. Here's my beautiful Cornish pasty, doused in crime. Here's my cocktail sausages, doused in nothing. <laughs> Just the plastic. And a whole pack of Maltesers. I think it's very thematic. There's probably like a hundred things in here. I'm going to eat one every time a Pikmin dies. Demonic. Evil. Listen, right? Newbie, newbie, Ninten uh, newbie Pikmin fans, they cry every time a Pikmin dies. I'm a veteran, right? I've killed thousands. My music very tactically paused on that. You didn't hear that? That's ominous. I'm going to leave a marker for my editor to uh, catch that. So anyway, that'll be fun, won't it? I will be eating the Maltesers during the next section. But in the meantime, I'm going to scoff my mouth for a second. Um, thank you for delivering lunch. Say thank you, Kez, because it's our moderator, Kez, who's delivered all that food. Okay. Thank you very much. You used the microwave. It was fantastic. Um, yes, I'll see you in a bit. <sighs> right. Now it's time for the serious motion of uh, eating food as fast as possible. I don't want City Pop. Give me something better. That's the same song we had last time. That's just a general theme. These are not going to fit, are they? No. Nah. Okay, fine. We'll have that. Oh, these are crispy. <laughs> I honestly spoiled myself because I'm too curious and I saw the entire ending. That's awful. I've got that kind of, um, at least a little bit more control than that. Opinions on Pikmin Bloom? Good! I hate that it resets every two weeks. I haven't played it since I started playing for two weeks and then gave up. <sighs> Can I have something better? Mm -mm. That's nice, not good enough. I need something faster. Hmm. That's kind of faster. Oh my god, I... Yeah, that sounds like mini game. It's like eat as fast as you can. Try not to throw up on the stream, huh? Don't choke, thanks. I'll try my best. There was actually an entire area in Pikmin 3 that got cut. Yes, there was. I watched that whole video. And I talked to the team about it. It was very interesting. I'm sure there'll be something else for Pikmin 4 that we can talk about. Mm. You should change the title talking about Nighttime Expedition. Yes, you're right. I'm going to do that now. Thank you for that plug, that pin. Um, night Mission. There you go. That is now saved. I don't know if that will automatically send to you or if you have to refresh the page to see it, but I've now done that. Thank you for telling me to do that, L. Nothing like the guy from Death Note telling me some Pikmin advice. on my plate it's just slightly transparent okay hmm. that's too nice that song it's too slow that's the one i want give me all the cocktail sausages and just i can't dance by the way did anyone notice that <laughs> I'm Bob Ross, okay? I'll have these later. Lovely, that's all sorted now, eh? Round of applause for that. 
I don't have an applause sound, so I'll just say it out loud. Yeah, I can just imagine it. That's fine. Okay, one other thing I will want to do um, before everything else is work out how to open these damn Maltesers. Because I'm really bad at this. I'm bad at anything plastic. Why is it even covered in plastic, man? This is the part that the Pikmin don't show you in Treasures. Everything just doused in way too much plastic that's destroyed the Earth in the first place. Pikmin still is a post-apocalyptic world as far as I'm concerned. Actually, that was surprisingly easy, so never mind. Oh. So, for every death over this next day, or night, we will uh, consume a Malteser. But I will have one now, because it's on offer. Thank you for the applause. Lovely, right, let's get back into gameplay, shall we? Uh, go there, go there, <clears throat> go there. Okay, time to explore at night. Crazy. Sorry for the delay, it was necessary. These areas have been approved for night expeditions. Is it what we've already got? Is it somewhere new? That's the Sun Speckled Terrace. Okay, same place again. Interesting. Is there anything- oh, ancient arches! Oh, it's just the base! Is there anything more exciting than heading out into the dark of night? <laughs> this guy's a serial killer. I can see it now. Sunset's not quite here yet, so you can breathe easy for a little bit. <laughs> He's 100% killing us. Whoa! Leave it at- well, I know we always leave at sunset, actually. Oh, what a jingle! It's slightly minor. The Sun Speckled Terrace. The Moon Speckled Terrace. It's probably it probably says Moon Speckled Terrace, right? I hope so. If you defeat all the creatures or protect a luminol until morning, you can harvest the glow sap you can you need to cure leaflings. Oh, Hello, hello, hello. No onion. Oh, I'm so excited for this. There they are. It's them. There it is, new blood. That is a luminol. When dawn breaks, it will release an extract I'll use to make that medicine. But if the luminol is destroyed, we won't harvest any extract at all. All you need to do is protect the luminol until morning. Simple, right? <laughs> there it is. I, it didn't even come out the shard thing. Well, well now, what's this? Here we go. These little guys weren't here before. Let's observe them and see what they do. Okay, I'm going to slightly name, uh, change the title. It sounds nicer to say Night Expedition than Night Mode. What do you do? You put a star fragment in. Crazy that. Look at that! It propagated more! Are you thinking what I'm thinking, New Blood? Oh, okay. That's what makes new Pikmin. And the sap's just by default. Ugh. Ah, it's so cute and its eyes are so crazy. I love it. I didn't think we'd get a new winged Pikmin of all things. Yep, those little guys sure look like a new variety of Pikmin to me, based off of the ghost Pikmin in the concept art. Funny that. They're kind of glowing, so Glow Pikmin seems like an appropriate name. And finally, we have Green Pikmin. They can teleport? It's just ghost Pikmin. Ha <laughs> Hi. <laughs> They're rather fond of you, new blood. That's perfect. You and these little guys can protect the Luminol together. 
that star-shaped fragment in from earlier, let's call it a glow pellet. Try and carry those to the luminal to see if we can propagate more glow pigmen. Leave it to you, then I will. Yeah. Okay, oh my god, I'm playing night mode. Look at them go. Oh, and it's so quick as well. Oh, it made three. Ten make three? Oh my god, there's so many already. So, ma no, it's still three though. Right, Ochi, you can protect everything. I saw this guy on the trailer. I want them in. Gather the glow Pikmin you need first. Oh. <laughs> it's about that time, new bud. Oh. Oh, but it didn't. It's not chasing us. See how that creature becomes more aggressive at night? They're drawn here by that irresistible glow. It still curses me that it's winged Pikmin instead of winged Pikmin. I know, man. I know. I've tried to incorporate it as much as I can. Watch out now. They'll come for the luminol, so don't let them break it. <laughs> ah, they're heading this way. Okay. For now, collect glow pellets and propagate more glow Pikmin to build up your protective forces. <laughs> the creatures will keep attacking until dawn, so do your best to take them out. Okay, it's up to you, Ochi and Daz. Good luck. We're going to sit back here and enjoy our time. Okay, right. Any more glow paper we can make? Or do I need to start worrying? How f close are they? They're right there. Okay, they're good. Where are the others? Oh, they're there. Wow, this is proper tower defense, eh? Uh, can I avoid you? Are you going to attack us? I can distract you. That's interesting. What? They come here. Why are they here? Oh! Aha! Uh -huh. Glow pellets could be carried here too! <gasps> From the looks of it, this could be a juvenile form of a luminol. If that's the case, then it's possible this could be connected to the luminol below ground! Whoa! What? Oh! The timer's- oh! That's fine, don't worry. We're not in disaster time, we haven't reset the timer. We've just added another- we've just added another number. We're in a new unit. It's cool. Don't 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 panic. <laughs> there it is. It's all good. We're just ten hours in. Whoa, they're connected underground. That's fascinating. Maybe it could serve as an interim drop point where transporting glow pellets from far away. Oh, okay. But it's still the base one that we're worried about. Additionally, it seems like it could act as a decoy for the creatures to keep the luminol safe. Oh! It's small, but it shines quite brightly. Why don't we call it a trick null? <laughs> oh, good thinking. Try using it as a decoy, an interim drop point. So then do I just not even bother with a... Okay, that guy's... Like, are we in trouble over here? Nothing's going on over there. Okay. Ah, ah, ah. A trick null is being attacked. That's fine then, right? Oh my god, it's glowing. Look at that. Oh, what? This is doable. Look at this. Oh, easy. Okay, well, let's keep going with a... There's a trick knoll over here. Ouch. Track creatures using your knight. It's at the bottom of your screen. Okay. Uh, Oshi, how are things over there? No enemies. <laughs> All right, I'll just... Oh, they're over there. Some enemies are... Right, this is a full-sized one, isn't it? What am I looking at now? Yeah, they're coming this way. Oh, this is this is going well, though. I can't believe they just teleport to me like that. Look at all those guys. This ain't bad. This ain't bad. We're doing well. I guess this gets real hard when it's not just baby ball balls we're dealing with. Like, Ochi, anything happen over here? No. Nothing. Oh, and they just, like, teleport to where I'm at. So I have 42 now. Oh, they're all coming here. Oh, my God, look at that. Do they all 
teleport to whoever I'm playing as? Like, what am I looking at? Think you have enough glow Pikmin? I sure do, yeah. It's surprisingly quiet music. That's the only thing I've got to note on it so far. Yeah, they all just come to wherever I'm at. Oh, big ball ball coming. The night is almost over. You're almost there, new blood. Okay, they're no longer going for that guy. Can I? Hey, can I? Oh my god, they can deal with the water. They can do water! This is perfect. Hiya. I'm going to need a little bit more than that. Oh, it freezes them. That's interesting. And then they disappear into pieces. Oh. Oh my god, this has been amazing. I mean, it's been very easy so far. Of course it has. But it's generally okay. Fantastic. That's terrifying. The herd is coming. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. When it's like the big guys, I bet it's awful. There was also a new Bulbum enemy. Oh, I guess, yeah, you're right. It's like the teenager one. <laughs> Here it comes. Pay attention, new blood. Oh. Oh, it's just a glob. As long as they don't make another sunny side up enemy out of it, it's fine. That is a condensed luminol extract. It's very high in degradative enzymes. I believe we should call it glow sap. It's a critical ingredient for the leafling cure. Gather it with care, new blood. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, fantastic. Where do they go? Do they go back in the ground? What is this? Um, they get flashbanged. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Look, the glow pigmen have come to see you off. Do they want to follow you back to the rescue command post? Uh Are they dead? My, my, what's this? Glow Pikmin turn into seeds? <laughs> I need to study this up close. Please bring some back with you. He immediately leaves. <laughs> I don't know what I'm looking at. What just happened? Also, did any Pikmin die during all that? Maybe. The difficulty may scale with each different enemy, because this area was difficulty one. Oh. Now, I didn't have much time to go further into the area. Could I? Like, were there multiple non trichnols We got a pill. What a fruitful harvest. Defeated 25 out of 25. Does the day end when you've defended enough? Because it did seem like a final boss just spawned. I don't know. From one glow sap. I can make exactly one cure. <laughs> well then, I guess we'll do a bunch of night missions to cure everyone we got. Does that sound like an okay time? To be cured, one. Let's see what he has to say. And 11 glow seeds. Used none. What do I use them for? So, how was your first venture onto this planet at night? This was exactly the screenshot I wanted for this scene here. I only have the nighttime angle. I wanted this. This is exactly what I needed a green screen into. Ah, well. So how was your venture? Uh, it was fun, actually. I was great. <laughs> good, good. What a surprise, though. You met a whole new kind of Pikmin. Before you rescued me, I'd never seen a glow Pikmin myself. I can only assume the Pikmin took a liking to you, new blood. You two should get as much help from them as you can. You are helping them protect their luminals, after all. 
Though, I'm not so sure you've got this night exposition thing fully under control just yet. Perhaps I'll go ahead and select the luminals for you to retrieve Glosa from until you are. <laughs> Ahem, I'd like to remind you that you are not allowed to overwork my crew. God, horrifying. <laughs> but, cool, we have medicine in stock. Uh, anything else I can do out of these? No. Oh, uh, no. The night ends if you survive or if you defeat all the enemies, because night ended immediately after all enemies are defeated. Ah! Well then, I will keep one alive? Can I do that? I don't know how I can do that. I'll have a look. <sighs> right! Administer the cure at once! Maybe you can use the glow pigment in game during caves or in the day. Ooh! Yeah, because I assumed they were locked away at night time. Maybe it is for caves. I think we lost one glow bin to a juvenile bulbul. Okay. There are two victory conditions. Defeat enemies or wait until sunrise. Okay. Yes, Captain. Giant needle. Oh, it's a drink. Of course it's a drink. That's fine then. Hey, look who it is. Beanhead. It's... Dash, the professional spelunker. He's known for saying, You can always find me in the pits. He'll take uh, he'll take the lead into any cave, no matter how dangerous it is. I like Dash. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Oh, they're not going to chat to him? Uh, I guess it's a bit more automated, huh? All right, where's Dash? Where'd he go? Dash, where are you at? Are you here? Dash is not in all of that area. It's not our pilot. Where'd he go? Because <laughs> it's not you, is it? No, it's not. Is he even here? It hasn't added anybody new. Am I blind? That's Petunia. Oh, well. Imagine the cure fails. <laughs> Dashend. Ah, nice. Dash, you mean Daz? <laughs> I can see that too. Right. Um, oh, she can do stuff. Totally. Um, maybe it might be time to start looking at the bite. Because um, we don't need heal. Speed up dig. Nah. Uh, plucking faster. Ah. Uh, swim speed. Rush speed. Chomp strength. I think I quite like. And super buff. Uh, let's go with chomp strength. And then we'll go for... Um, what are we going to use at night time? Faster plucking? No. Faster digging? Maybe. Faster swim's more useful. We'll go with that. Thank you for the subscription, whoever you are. I appreciate it. Your name was very small, so I apologise. But thanks. you got to go back to the first area to lock more night expeditions for that area. Really? Is it like how many bases I have? Because I 100 percented the last area. What's going on here? You are not the guy. Oh, you... No, you're Dingo. So you need help? Let me ramp it up. R right. Okay, thanks. Oh, there's... Well, let's see the new gear. Hold on. Kihi! I created a new item! Well, a prototype. Uh, what is it? Kihi! Yeah, that's not the answer. <laughs> what did he get me, bloody hell? Brace boots. Uh, these intensify your item's bracing abilities. Cool. Um, thermal defense, lovely. Thermal defense, Rochi. Homesick signal. When your Pikmin go missing, call them back to the SS Beagle. That's nice. This works on any Pikmin not currently in your squad. Uh, rush boots. The faster you go, the more you can explore. Isn't that right? Yeah, I like that. This didn't have a video in the demo. I love that. Uh, electricity immunity. Headlamp plus, which is more light. I don't think I want even more. Uh, collect pick. You can summon them with... Idler's alert. Ooh, that's interesting. Uh, instead of the counter. Yeah, all right. We'll go with that. <clears throat> so we can just grab anybody idle. It's 80, so it's fine. And we'll get the homesick signal where we can send them all to the beagle. Ironically, the two cheapest items are what I like the most. Um, but that's fine. Then we have bomb rocks. Ice blast. When this bomb explodes, it saps all warmth from it so it can easily freeze. And a mine when it senses movement. Interesting. A bomb so powerful, it can do that. 
Ice Blast! An Ice Bomb! I mean, I like the upgrades, the changes. It's a mine! Lovely, thank you. Come back and see me! Alright, uh, I guess if he's not around... Who knows who Dash is? No, I need, I need to know. It won't tell me. Do another night. The night... The nap shows their names too, by the way. Dingo, Kingsley, Francois, Schnauz, Dalmo, 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 Dalmatian, Dal, whatever. He's not here, right? Colin, Shepard, Russ, Petunia. There is no Dash. We just forgot about Dash. All right. I suggest the running one. I think we did that. Yeah, don't worry. I know it's a big delay. So yes, catching up on chat where I can. Are you supposed to go out collecting Sclosap? Yeah, I can do that now. Try check back the area for Dash because civilians aren't shown for them. Oh, really? Check the back area. I will do. Actually, is it faster if I'm not on Ochi? I mean, it does feel a little faster. It feels like Pikmin 2. I just don't think they remember Dash. I think Dash has just vanished. Dash dashed. By the first cave. Ah! I, uh, apparently everyone saw it all at once, huh? Oh, I, yeah, I didn't read that. What are you doing over here? This isn't even the area with unlocked Dash. But I guess you do care about the caves. Well, I've been drawing the caves for most of my life, but I haven't run into danger like this in a long time. I'm talking like he's kind of Sonic-y, I guess. My life's quite precious to me, thanks to helping. After all, I can only poke around and gaze if I'm alive, right? <laughs> oh, I should introduce myself. A woofer supporter is who I am. I've explored all over the universe thanks to my family's deep pockets. Well, at least you're honest. Oh, all right. The captain warned me that she'd be very angry if I got stranded again, so I can't go exploring any caves. Oh, hey, I just had the best idea. Starting right now, I'm going to recognize you as my top, well, only pupil. I need you to explore the caves around this planet on my behalf. You'll make your way through all of them to the exits. I see you've made your way through several caves. I would expect no less from my star pupil. Nice. Paying back my equipment already. Your attitude, the way you take on these caves so enthusiastically, is like when I first discovered the underground world. <laughs> I'm Sonic. I like darkness. I have no friends. Lovely, okay. Welcome back, Elema. Where were you last time we were about? Because we had a whole night exposition going on now. There's the weenie, because he's a dash and Oh yeah, I get it. Right. Uh, so it's every base is one, it looks like. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe they missed out the opportunity to say Moon Speckled Terrace here. <laughs> Genuine disappointment. <laughs> right, so we're going to do three more night missions, just to get, or as many as we can do, I guess, until we cure everyone we have. That's going to be the next chapter of life, okay? That's the plan in the head, in my mind. What are the seeds? Did I learn anything about the seeds? Hey, hi, what's up? Yeah, cool. I need to hold Y and find out my damn seeds. <laughs> so there's something else I figured out about the Glow Pikmin. As you can see, Glow Pikmin emit a very powerful light. You can charge them, yeah, into one big glowing ball. It freezes them as well. You give them a flashbang. It's called Glow Mob. You can see that from the menus of bloody demo for some reason. Wow, and they actually emit light. Another tutorial? Come on, man. What you doing to me? Please. Uh, remember the glow seeds? Here we go. You picked up the other night. I took the liberty of putting them in your pack. Let me show you how to use them. I would like to know this. First, select a glow seed from your pack. When you throw it, it will instantly create a glow Pikmin. Anywhere. Caves, 
daytime? Of course, they'll only work at night or in caves. Okay, there you go. So don't forget that. <laughs> oh, okay. I just spawned some. Fantastic stuff. Protect that Lumina with all you've got. I will do. What do you think I'm doing? Where are you all? Oops. Every time my phone alarm goes off, something crashes the stream. That's so weird. What is that logic? Okay, so let's just build up our numbers. There's a big guy here that we've got to worry about soonish. Okay, um, then we also have that up there, but we can ignore it. Um, that we can just walk to. Yeah, that's just walkable, isn't it? Yeah. Where's an- oh wait, is there another, uh, troll knoll around? There. Then we'll go there first. Am I going the right direction for it? No, not at all. <laughs> it's weird, it does feel like an entirely different map just because of the lighting choices. Wang. The creatures are starting to perk up. That's fine, I found a troll. You better protect the luminol. <laughs> it's fine, if there's any issues, I switch to Ochi, and then we just get on from there. Work with Ochi on a solid defense. Well, sure, are they around us nearby here? No? Well then. Ochi got himself into a tussle! Oh, hello, Ochi! What are you doing here? Separate! Okay. Now we're in genuine trouble times. Ouch! Lock on, please! Focus on protecting after that! Ah! Ah, that's the sound we were expecting to hear! We've got a problem! It's under attack! Stop watching the bites and get rid of it! I know! Okay, well, I'm glad you switched, but come on, buddy. Ah, this is going awfully! Why did they not go to the troll? They went to whatever's nearest. Okay, well, now I know. Morning can't come soon enough, eh? Yeah, you're telling me. I'm concerned about Ochi's HP. I'm concerned about my own, thank you very much. I can't even see his HP. Oh, look at that action shot. That was not what we needed either, but we're going with it. Don't take your eyes off the Link Luminol. I'm sorry, I was taking my eyes off of everything else instead. Ah, Ochi! I need some more Pikmin here soon, please. Thank you. Get in him! Get him! Don't get in him. Just keep going, buddy! The trick knoll was wiped down. Okay, well that's alright. We can get by. Jesus, how many more enemies are there? Can I tell? Can you see? Okay, HP is awfully low. But we're getting by. Okay, so it's, it's more I really need to be not Ochi for this segment. Because only with the... Guy, can we do the glow stop? <sighs> the vibrations making your desk vibrate of what's making the stream go funky. You know, that makes logical sense. I'm gonna just remove my phone. <sighs> Can't believe we made it through that. That was, uh,. <laughs> A little awful. <laughs> that was way harder. That was all giant bulb orbs, I think, wasn't it? And that's still level one. Like, difficulty. You put in the effort out there, new blood. Ah. I love the enemy attacking the luminal music. Me too. Horrified still, though. Ah. <sighs> 
<laughs> the timer reset again? You're right, I can fix it. There you go. That's what you wanted, eh? Sorted. And because it's bothering me, I'll move the camera too. There you are. Ah, oh, I mean, night mode's good. It's a real challenge, apparently, when I'm doing it. But um, I'm glad. So it, the, the positioning is what makes it harder. Because, obviously, last time, they all had to go one route to find us. Ah, oh, I see why they're not naming the days anymore. Because it's just, what do you want to do? What day? What night? I've lost track what day we're even on. Does it tell you? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. Day 11, excuse me. <laughs> I'm just blur. Tell, call me right out immediately, why don't you? Yeah, no, it's fine. I don't need my pride on the line. <sighs> you planning on completing all Area 1 Night Expedition? Yes, I'd probably say so, yeah. Or at least get through all of our cures, yeah. I would say so. Um, is it just me or is that bulb bulb huge? I, I think it was normal. I don't know. Uh, what Pikmin do you have? Yeah, as said, ice blue, red and yellow. And now glow. How does that... Big other thing of Ghoulies looking thing become a single pill? <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's sap. It's like one big blo- uh, Who knows? <laughs> I was wondering if doing damage gets you less sap, but I don't think it makes a difference. You just have to survive outright. My camera's gone wrong the other direction now. That's the downside with this uh, layout. I have to like- Oh no, it's not the camera. It's all in the uh, border, the background. Sorry, it's going to bother me if I don't fix it, so I'm going to. There you are. That's it. Good work! Bruna. I believe now it's let's it lets you play any base. Yes! <laughs> Looks like you're getting the hang of these night mission expeditions. I think you're ready. Next time you bend around, you can go wherever you would like to collect glow sap. The search for our pilot starts in earnest now, too! Rescue as many leaflings as you can! Let's cure them all! Uh, so, without that, let's stop and think for a hot minute here, okay? It's possible Bernard hasn't turned into a leafling yet. What do you mean? I've spent lots of time thinking about it. Yes, that leafling with the dog was chasing me, and yes, that's when I realized Bernard had disappeared, but that's all. What I'm saying is, I never actually saw him turn into a leafling or anything. Oh, interesting! Then, uh, what should we... Look, at the very least, you now have a choice in where you would like to progress your gameplay. If we catch that leafling, then we might be able to get a lead on Bernard's whereabouts. Oh, oh I see. Okay, the search for that leafling is our top priority, Daz. Hey! No. Alright, that concludes the emergency meeting. Let's get to it. You're not going to let me do any more night missions? I want to rescue the rescue core. I'm going to cure them. And they're not gonna let no, they'll let me do that. They let me do both before. It's just it's just story. Canonically, they don't do this anymore. That's all. That's fine. Oh no. Uh, oh yeah, wait, maybe every enemy ages, so on day like 30, some bulb will become bulb blackses. Oh, <laughs> That'd be really cool to watch them evolve. I don't think they'll do that, but it would be very cool if they did. Um, while I'm here, one more time. <sighs> what am I looking at? I think that fixed it. Yeah, that fixed it. Right, administer the cure at once. Okay. Yes, Captain. <gasps> hey! Oh, it's the horrifying robot-looking guy in the website. Yeah, Korgwin. He's a cog man, huh? From Moyama. Uh, when it comes to work, he's thorough, fast, reckless, and presumptuous. Which also describes his plan to build houses here. Oh no. Oh, he's a he's a he's a tradesman, huh? Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we rescued and hear what they have to say. Except he doesn't want to speak because, of course, he doesn't. Uh, Corwin would like to speak with you. Dan Dory battles, huh? Hey, thanks for the sweet rescue. I'm a general contractor over at my armor construction. My name's Corwin. Have you filed your paperwork? 
Jesus Christ. Also, you're from Mayama Construction and your planet Moyama? I'm not from Earth Construction, you know? Just like rescuing folks, construction is all about using your imagination and Dan Dory powers to get the job done. <laughs> I was thinking you and I could join forces and train for Dan Dory battles together. Let's get those imaginative juices flowing. Uh, like, train? Now we're talking! Plus, if we do this, there's a super sweet reward in it for you. Hey there! The results you've had in Dandori battles are nothing to scoff at. Way to go! I assume training's just upgrades, right? It's not- you're not making me do a battle. There's a little something just for you. But back to the reason you're here. Let's train those Dandori muscles. Get gold in three battles. I only got them in two, I'm sorry. Cool though. Oh, and then I can replay them through him. Oh, beautiful. I was hoping we'd have this in a bit. Very good. Ah, all set for now. Well, see you later. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> cool. I like that a lot. Very nice. Are you going to go out on a nice expedition, are you? Yeah, we got two more to do from the looks of things. So, yes. I mean, that's true. Hockatate freight for a planet Hockatate makes a lot of sense. Man, I swear the bubble was way bigger than normal. I mean, it could be. The player is from Planet Karoot. <laughs> Carrot, which is a joke on Carrot. I never even noticed that before. Carrots and onions. It all comes together. I like it. <laughs> uh, you know, the favourite dogs are the Queen of England, Elizabeth. Korg, of course. Korgwin. Makes sense. I have not been paying attention to the dog names, so that's very cool. Wow, he loved the Dandori battles before he was a Corgi Min. <laughs> Corgi Min. Oh, that's perfect. Is this like challenge mode? I think kind of, yeah. All you get is, you, but it helps the story. It helps cure these leaflings and it gets you some items. So why not? So planet name, company name makes sense. I guess that's a fair point. Pikmin, so basic their universe. If you're part of a spacefaring civilization, they've probably already gotten over petty things like countries and stuff. You know what? That's a good point. Maybe it does just all meld into one at that point. Um, I hope there's game completion wars like five Pikmin types at once instead of three. I would like to see it, you know. These areas have been approved for nighttime expeditions. Okay, so now we have a third one there, and then some there. Let's do the final one here, Meandering Slope, Danger Level 2. Hold on. Is this easier? This is easier. But I want to do this one. Right, are you ready for pain, suffering, and struggles? Because, uh... We might have it. Oh, look at that collection! Just seeing a collection of bounding captains is makes me so happy, man. I can't explain it. It's just so nice. <sighs> 16 glow seeds. You want me to use them? I can use them. When else am I- nah, no, I'll use them for the caves. I, oh man, I'm gonna have to, this session, I'm gonna have to learn level 5 difficulty. Oh god. Oh. Come in, can you hear me, Daz? A while back, I taught Ochi a particular skill used for operations that involve protecting a client. Uh-huh. Select the luminol you want Ochi to protect, then give him the command. Ochi will patrol near the luminol and bite any creatures that come close. That's basically what I had automated, but without the automation. That's basically what already happened. During a night expedition, if he gets separated from your squad, he'll go to that spot and to patrol it for you. Ah, oh, perfect. Work with him to protect the lumen. That's what I was doing before. That's what screwed me over. But uh, yeah, okay. In that case, off you go. Plug you there. And then there you are. There you go. He's patrolling now. Oh, he's a good boy, isn't he? Okay, let's work out the layer. The layout. Can I do this? I can. Oh, this would be nice. So, we have this whole row for the troll. Where are people coming from? We're in the middle, aren't we? Where are enemies? We got all that there. There's no enemies there. Where are the enemies coming from? It looks like it might be a straight path, but I also could just be reading this incredibly badly. So, like, they'll go not that way. Oh, it's this map! No wonder I'm getting confused. Okay, so they're all going to come, like, towards us in the corner. 
So then that should be fine. We've got loads of... We've got loads of trolls we can get in the way. Yeah. Alright. I will go towards the trolls this way. Which way is that? That is this direction. Yes. Essentially, yes. More red bulb bulbs, you think? They're starting to perk up. We'll come here first, buddy. There you go. Though they're not attacking. Where are the reds? <gasps> no, it's not him either. Who's perked up? Where? Because it's not... Oh, it is those guys. I think they're red. Are they red? They're not red. I should use my map. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of enemies here. No, but these guys are the reddened ones. Ah, uh, okay. We can grab those guys now then. With 13 enemies. Oh, look at them. Easy pickings, I say. I think I lost a glow Pikmin because I didn't spot him. Sorry about that. What's that? It's jumping! Oh my god, it's spawning infinite ones! Okay, that's not bad, that's not bad. Where are the next batch of angry ones? There, they're coming for us now. But they're going to the troll. Okay, that's good news. Have you played A Hat in Time? It's a really nice game. I haven't, but I've seen bits of gameplay. I'd love to play it more in the future. Is it very Pikmin-y? Does it roll under Dan Dory gameplay? Is it within my lane, do you think, to play? Maybe. Seems quite cute. Seems quite large scale. Oh, yes. Okay, so you're going to infinitely spawn them. I wish I could see underneath my face cam. Sorted. Lovely. Right. Big angry song for this guy. Anybody else? <gasps> uh, there's some right there, so yes. Okay, got big bulb up there. But then also, what are we seeing over there? Okay, little guys over there. Is that right? Yes. Worry about the adult bulb soon, but not yet. Not yet, we're okay. We're okay-ish. A trick null is being attacked. That's fine. Okay, it's gone. Oh no, so scary. Okay, then there's another adult bulb bulb over there. Come on, gang, we're over here. Good boys. Gather the glow Pikmin you need first. I know. What's going on? Who's biting? Stop biting it. Who's doing that? Stop. Stop, I tell you. How did you get it? There's so many. Oh my god. Okay. Who's left? These guys. They're all coming for us now. What are we looking at? They're all at the top of the hill there. We have 54, but I'll take another three. Oh, it's just the babies. And they're about to drop down. They might get it. They might touch it. They're so close. Don't you dare, buddies. They're going to get here in time? I don't know if they will. No, they won't. They're not going to make it in time. Oh, because they're infinite. Well, then I guess it's w GG's, eh? Wow, that's a, that's a douchey place to put a recurring spawner, huh? Ha ha ha! 
Ahaha! Ah, uh, it's not, but it's a platformer. It takes a bit of skill. It's a 3D collectathon. Okay. Hack in time. Oh well. New path. Amazing work tonight, as per usual. Hello, hello. Now we can make the cure. I really like the glow pigment goes to the active captain or pump. Yeah, that's really nice. I like they just teleport around. Very convenient. Glow Pikmin are kind of overpowered, but in a nice enough way, you know? As much as I don't like using the Ice Pikmin of the day, I'm fine using Glow Pikmin at night. And I'm glad that it's only them. It's, it's, I don't know. It's just a good expansion. It is very good. Very, very good. When do we sleep? But poor character D is being put through the ringer. He does all-nighters several nights. Look, I'd love to technically do an all-nighter for this, but I don't think I'll be done in time, you know? With everything else I'm doing with here, like, I haven't made any progress on the story, really. Ho 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 ho, I could get my own army of glow pigment at this rate. I assume they're one-time use, though. My observations have led me to an important realization. Glow pigment cannot die! What? How? Uh, what do you mean? I'm j what? Mm -hmm. Well, when a glow pigment uh, meets its demise, it turns into photons and returns to the luminoles. Or so it seems. Yeah. Are they really pigment then? They are ghost pigment. So they return to the luminol. They're just back at base. Okay. Interesting. Set the world abloom. Hey, I can do that. We've made, I guess, yeah, new pigment. That counts. Oh man, the glow pigment are really nice. I don't know if I should really have my morning jingle after a night mission. It's kind of confusing. Right, administer the cure at once. Oh yes, Captain. Ugh. Ice Pikmin equals Pikmin 2 purples? Yeah, that's how I see it. Hello! You, it could be him! No, it's the wrong colour. It's Jin. Um, he's wearing, what is that, red? Green? Arms? I don't know. From Flukui. Jin. Jin. Jin? Uh, I don't know what that is then. Uh, he's always in search of the next uncharted planet to explore, as well as someone who wants to hear tales of his past adventures. Ah, oh, okay. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we've rescued and hear what they have to say. Alright. That adventuresome djinn is asking for you. Another Dandori challenge? You are the one who saved me, thank you. I'll never forget your kindness. My name is Jin. I am an adventurer wandering the universe in search of uncharted lands. Adventurers never skip their training, and you could do almost anything as long as you can rely on your physical self. Which brings me to another important aspect of Dandori challenge training, meditation. Why don't you give it a try? Uh... Yeah, alright. If you can visualize your Dandori well, I'll present you with a small reward. Visualize? I see you're able to visualize well. You really do have a remarkable potential. Doesn't Korg do this? Corgi? Please take that. Continue to work hard and keep up with your training. I already he already gave me the gold rock. Gold choices. Oh, but it's the challenge. Ah. ah I see. Come by whenever you want to meditate. You're always welcome. <laughs> Alright, sure. Now there's a flower blooming guy that wants me to have a chat with him, eh? Is that right? There you are. Make no. Oh, wh wow, thanks a ton. You bloomed a whole lot of Pikmin flowers. They're so beautiful. You're welcome. There's battle and challenge. Yes, that's right. It took me seeing the mission to understand that. But you can't really be done, right? This world needs more flowers. Keep blooming. You gotta keep blooming. Bloom a bunch of Pikmin flowers. 300. Sweet. Can do. Dandori. Candori. 
That was that was a bit of a stretch. Okay, cool. We've got one more night mission to do. Let's let's get on it. Uh, but just before we do, actually, this is a great opportunity I want to use to to plug something else real quick. Um, if you wouldn't mind, I have a whole separate thing that I am doing over this um this Pikmin week. Um, I wanted to. Jesus Christ, that's so loud in my head. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, there's something I've always wanted to do as a as a bit of a content creator that I've always been a bit afraid to do um, And that is I've always wanted to do a giveaway So I'm doing a giveaway for the entire Pikmin week and for uh, August as well We will be doing a giveaway in the form of a raffle Look at this This is the greatest Pikmin merch that has ever existed. Have you seen this? Nintendo is releasing these soon. You can get terrariums of Pikmin just in jars. It's the greatest merch option there is. I, like, they're clearly going to sell out, right? So I have made it so that I have, re I have reserved some of my own, essentially. I have reserved my own collection of six, and I'm going to give away five of them so that you can have one of these before they sell out. Now here, in the link down below that I'm adding here, Maybe paste it over if you'd like to see it. This is my raffle page. Basically, you can plug in an opportunity to get one of these for one pound, and that's it. This is going to cost me 45 quid, but you can get any one of these for one pound. The way it works is if you pitch in, you get one ticket, then it will be, you know, a raffle between all of the several options. Then it will be a first come, first serve section. If you get, we'll get five winners in total. The first person to win gets the choice of all six. They get to say, I want, I want the one where the blues are, are in the water. Taken. The next winner will then get the selection of whatever the lining of five are. Then four, three, two, and I'll take the last one. You know, whatever one nobody wants, I'll take. Uh, now on top of this, uh, my screen's confusing me. Have I got the... Is this correct? Oh yeah, this is the original. Yeah, there's another design for it. Now the way this all works on the, uh, on the big screen, like once you actually come to look at the page, is there's lots of other things you can do. It's a proper raffle like website, so they've got all sorts of things plotted and planned together. It's honestly quite, quite crazy all the stuff you can do and like all the ways it works, but it's very interesting. Uh, if I was to show you, for example, this screen, you can see this is what the page looks like, right? Uh, you can see all the details, see all the imagery, if I was on the right side of the screen. Uh, on top of like seeing all the things you can do, you get a choice of all these options, here's all the information. I'll pay for shipping as well. Uh, if, for whatever reason, you're feeling a bit iffy, you don't want to go for this raffle, because, you know, it, maybe it's a scam. Um, there is a guarantee with this website. I've always been afraid of, like, messing these up, so I wanted to do it in a way that would be successful, and, like, no one's gonna ever get screwed over. If, for whatever reason, I disappear, and I don't send you these, uh, there's a guarantee where the website will pay you, uh, the winner, uh, the revenue of what was made at that raffle. So, in one, uh, one way or another, you'll be fine. There's also some extra things you can do if you'd like to. You can buy as many tickets as you want. If you want to have more of a chance, you can buy more tickets. You don't have to, just one is fine. You'll, you know, oh, I can't have a look. All right, sorry. Uh, but there are um, discounts you can get on the side of all this. Uh, essentially, it is um, like, if you buy, uh, something like if you buy two tickets, you get three for free or something like that. And if you buy 20 tickets, you get another 20 for free. It's, it's you know, it's, just the way that the system works, like the website works. It's a nice way to sort of expand your options, because I know this is some of the greatest merch ever, right? If I could, I'd love to get all six myself, but I'm, I figured I would try and give back to my community in a way that I plausibly could. What is this? Is that my green screen? Oh, okay. Um, and so, if you're interested in giving it a go, you don't have to spend 50 quid on this damn thing. You can if you want to. I wouldn't recommend it financially, uh, but if you want a chance to just have the one, then uh, that's your way of doing it. Just get one ticket and you'll have a chance of all of these. Uh, now, there is a light, a light caveat to this. This will end in 45 days, this competition. I will be revealing it on my birthday, which is September 4th. So there's gonna be all of this Pikmin week. Then this stream's gonna roll out slowly over August in an edited format. Hey, look, this whole segment is probably in the video. Crazy, that. Um, and then uh, at the beginning of September, we'll find a winner. Um, there's a little bit of a time for waiting for these to officially release, but I've got it pre-ordered. It's coming to me eventually, and then once I do, I'll have everyone's info. I'll send them out and pay for shipping. 
I've always wanted to do a giveaway. I've always wanted to do more for my fans. And I've just been scared of it. Like, I'm like, it's horrifying to think, oh man, if I ruin this and I screw it up, there's gonna be like, this guy scammed me and I hate him. Using raffle was the greatest way that I could have it organized kind of for me. You know, the website has fail saves. I can comfortably set it all up and it's a test for now. I've also found out through this website, I can do charity events in the future, which is something I'd also really like to do, but I've always been anxious about it because again, I'm worried that like, uh, for that actually it's separate, it's like I'd be upset if I only made three pounds for charity when I have almost half a million subscribers. I feel a bit like, disappointing. So I've been so afraid of failure, I haven't done charity events. This is a test to see the idea of how much investment pe people have with this idea, how interested it is. If it does succeed, that's fine, well you know, I'll still send all these out and then call it a day. But if this does really well, I may do these more often, maybe like every two weeks. Um, and I can plug in a charity segment. It's integrated into the website so I can give 50% or 90% of the revenue to charity. So we can do little charity events in a way that gives out to the fans. So you've got a fiery blowhog in a bottle. You've got water Pikmin and a lily pad. Bulbob eating a blue Pikmin. Rip blue Pikmin. Nintendo hates you. Uh, carrying a fruit inside of a bottle. Uh, this guy, which is the original Pikmin 1 concept art or like box art. And then a really good favorite one with a mic in the way is yellow Pikmin, oh, I'm in the way, in a light bulb. Ain't that lovely? I thought that's really, really cool. So if you're interested, there's the link. Let me know if there's any issues, if anyone tries it, because obviously I, this started setting up 15 minutes before the stream started. It got approved. Um, I'll probably keep plugging these every two to three hours. Um, because I know all sorts of people come in and out on streams. I thought it'd be a really fun way to sort of um, get a bit of a giveaway going on that I've always wanted to do. So thank you for listening. I thought they're really cool. I'd love to give them away. Um, so there you go. Why does Nintendo hate Blue Pikmin so much? I don't know, but whatever. Um, good luck. I hope you do enter and are impressed by how it's all organized and you feel comfortable and safe making these financial decisions. It's only a pound, so that's less than two US dollars. Trying to keep it as cheap as I can. Um, and then we'll just sort of see it as a nice trial run to see where things go. And it supports me directly as a creator, of course. So if you're interested in doing that for a cheap, cheap price, there you go. Uh, but that's all my plug for today. No, it's not. It's my plug for right now. Thank you for joining me. Let's go back to the, uh, the nighttime missions of complete fear and scariness, shall we? Sounds like a good time to me. Right, we got one more night mission at least to do. What happens if I've got an external? Maybe I'll do two more. Oh well. Uh, let's go get some of these. Don't you want to paste the link every 15 minutes with a short description or something? I could do. I just need it like automated. Would anyone be willing? Can you copy that link? Could a mod? Would someone be willing to go on 15 minute duty? Um, I don't know if Kez is still around and she's been listening to it in the background. But now that the link's been mentioned once, feel free to just keep it in circulation and with a with a description if you like absolutely these are the kind of things i wanted to have organized but the thing didn't approve until 15 minutes before the stream so i was gonna go through it without it on stream so that's my least prepared part but um there you go hopefully that's all fine ah uh, you know organization i uh, yes i can do it beaver you're the man Mwah. thank you very much unless you're a girl in which case you go <laughs> i don't know you're a beaver as far as i'm concerned very hairy weird tail you're welcome. This is a strange conversation. Right. Uh, Glossa, there's still some here. Well, yeah, we haven't gone here once yet. The Fragrant Ravine. Yes, please. Uh, don't worry, Kez. Beaver is now going to be posting about the raffle every so often. Um, so, don't worry, they're handling it. Although, if you ever need help, Beaver, um, like, you know, feel free to shout in chat for someone else to do it. Someone else is welcome to take up the mantle however you wish. Did I do something wrong? What, Daz? I won't do that. Nothing wrong with beavers. Oh, I see. <laughs> do you get to pick which one? You do, yes. You get a selection of six and then it goes down from there. Anyway, animation for a new place. Wow, I've just realized as well, for the first time we have uh, an opening area and it's ominous. I guess you kind of get that with like the last areas of places, but still strange to see. We do not have enough music for this place though, I must admit. This ain't very uh, 
ain't very loud at all. Maybe I should add my own. What kind of... <laughs> I've never heard that mistaken charge before. Okay, we are in surrounded by creatures, but we'll try our best. Man, imagine playing this at the beginning of the stream when the music was so quiet, huh? Come on, guys, you're a bit faster than that. Okay, but it's only giving me five. Okay, it's started. Don't let them destroy the gnolls. Oh, it's skitter leaves coming for us this time. But the angry ones, the desecrated skitter leaves. Okay, there's more behind us, but eight will be fine for this. We're doing okay so far. What's the next batch? It's the other direction. Okay, great. Just what we needed. They're coming over here. I believe they are anyway. Yeah. What is that? What am I- okay, there's a troll. Perfect. What am I looking at? What is that? Oh, it's a- it's a- oh, it's one of those. Easy. Where's he getting- how's he getting here? Slithering around some form. Oh, is he doing that way? That's gonna take him forever. Oh, but that is what they're doing. Okay, because they're over there. But they've got a troll sort of in the way. Mahi! <laughs> Let me know if you want anything else added. Uh, enter the raffle for a chance to win. Daz pays the chipping. That's pretty decent, I'd say, yeah. Uh, maybe put the link first. That would be my only note, but otherwise, I'm happy with that. Oh my god, there's a whole line of them coming here. Do you have anything else we can go to you in the meantime? Not really. Oh, hello! Okay, they've broken the f they've broken the chain. They've gotten through. Okay, they get distracted. It's all good now. Um, what else have we got? We got a line up here. Still a line there. And these guys are just gonna slowly make their way, I guess. It's kind of horrifying. They're just little leaves. But, hey, level one difficulty, so not as bad as it could be, you know? Think you have enough glow, Pikmin? No, never enough. Oh my god! I hate it! <laughs> right, what else have we got going on here? We got uh, that guy slowly crawling his way. That guy, and then the, it's just this lineup again, is it? That's fine then, that's not bad. We can get more glow pigment over here. Happy times. Totally. Um, hey, Ochi, can you like be more central? Yeah. Then we got you up here. Uh, we can't go for that one on the left. Oh my god, that's a massive batch over there. Not an option. Okay. What's next? Where are they? Who is it? It's them. They're making their way, but they're not there yet. That's fine. And I can't reach that one either. It's not that massive anyway. Okay, Oach. You're time to shine. Where are we? We're here. Oh, that looks like a big guy as well. This might be a timeout one rather than kill all the enemies in time. I think it's because I haven't built the map enough. Also, wait a minute. Are they disappearing into the goo? Why do they do that at night time? Okay. All right. We made it. Well done, new blood. You managed to not protect the luminol. 
You put in the effort out there. No damage. It was a no damage run and everything. It doesn't make a difference. It's just one lump a day. Why don't we get three a day from the three different places in a place, huh? Ah, we can make the cure. You can tell that I'm uh, going overboard in this direction because now the dialogue's all gone quite generic, huh? Okay. All right. Simple. Easy. I think... Have we had enough of nighttime mode? I think maybe we have. Um, I think it'd be nice and all to get a cure before we get a leafling at this point, but I'm not fussed. Oh, it's cool that they... Oh. I don't know if the captain, but they all sort of salute at you. That's nice. Every creature except one. Sorry, I almost killed him. It just, it, it's a long route. That's all. It'll be even worse next time, so it's fine. Would I have gotten ten if I made more? I guess maybe. If that next leafling we cure isn't Bernard, what are we going to do? I told, I told you. Uh, I told you, just focus on finding the leafling with the dog. But we're that rescue corps. We can't leave anyone behind. Well now, we can keep harvesting glow sap, can't we? And look on the bright side. The leafling I heal tomorrow might be Bernard. That's true. I'll have the ready medicine ready by morning. Until then, enjoy the suspense. <laughs> this is so nice. What, the music? Like the, the, the tune of it all? Or, or what? Like the nighttime mode? You enjoying nighttime? Oh, two weeks. Two weeks we've been at this. And what do we have to show for it? I'm still in area two. Right, administer the cure at once. Should I do a hydrating text every five minutes to tell those little Pikmin in the chat to stay hydrated? If you want to, sure, yeah. <laughs> Any kind of mod messages, I think you're welcome to make if you think it's acceptable in general. Lovely. Chet. Uh, I don't know what that is in, in dog. I will do when someone explains it to me, I'm sure. The leader of a diverse research task force. It may seem like he doesn't work at all, but he's the glue that keeps the team together. Oh, this is the guy that really have the dopey voice. Our work doesn't end here. It's our duty to care for and protect anyone we rescue and what they have to say. Actually, can we not have auto mod? Uh, I didn't know I had auto mod on now, but yeah, I can try to take that off. Uh, although I don't know, if that's an option I can do here right now. Uh, hold on one second, just uh, checking this out where I can. If you know exactly where I can do that, that would be great. Because at the moment I can, uh... Oh, maybe it's in defaults. Uh, hold comments on your channel message. Hold potentially inappropriate for... So you don't think we need to, uh, not, not have auto mod. Is that what you're saying? Like that? So hold potentially inappropriate chat messages for review. You don't think we need that? If that's the case, I can change it. I found it on my, on my page here. It's just, I don't know if I'm supposed to. Um, I thought Chet was French for dog, but it's actually Chien. Ah, I see. Once again, the rescue command post was starting to feel a bit cramped, so we've expanded into a new area. Well, you barely used the last one. <laughs> Colin and I are the cast, are, and all the castaways joined forces and worked hard to make this happen. Here's some raw materials that we dug up while clearing the new space. I'm sure you'll find a use for it. Uh, okay, where? <laughs> it looks the same to me. Uh, oh, I guess this place was also crowded, even though I could run through it. Is that what you're saying, Lee? Yeah, I guess so. Was the big bucket gone? No, not the big bucket. Oh. 
Wow, like dude. Nightbot on Twitch. I don't think you had that. Uh, no, there's like a bot that sends an automated message. I don't see that. I don't. I think it's fine. There is like some. It asks mods. Mods can see if it's like, should we hide this? I think that's it. Um, hey, I just wanted to apologize. I can't really do much for you under these. Well. Difficult circumstances. I'm acting as the leader of a research task force, though its members are also skilled, they hardly need me. What I mean is, I'm technically the leader, but the others are the stars of the operation. They make my job easy. Ah. Uh, you have more to say. <laughs> Damn it. You really are useless. The setting should stay on. I agree, I think. I think it's fine. It's just on your view that it sees that, I think. Hey, is it okay if I ask a little favour of you? From what I can see, not all of the task force members have been found. I know you're very busy, believe me, but I'd appreciate it if you could find and rescue my missing team members. If there's anyone who can do this, it's you. Yeah, okay. Can do. Right, okay, I think we're done with nighttime missions at this point. Um, we are good to go back into the main, main plot. The main day, you know? Uh, allow me to uh, change the title of our stream back to Area 2. I can't believe it's still just Area 2. Um, but, oh well. Area 2, or say Late Area 2. Lovely. Uh, make sure you tackle all sorts of training. Let's get some training for my boy. So, we have three beats. Uh, super buff, chomp, rush skill could be a bit faster make it easier for critters to move around yeah that might be good i'm not fussed about his digging speed or his plucking ability so yeah i'll give it another rush nice there is none only messages for mods yeah all right then uh we can leave it be as it is i have figured so right we're back. SS Beagle, let's get going. Uh, let's finish the 50 per... There's a fifth Pikmin type here. They've spoiled it on the damn menu again. <laughs> but it's there. Hmm. Maybe just Area 2. This is your third time entering Area 2. Yeah, but Area 2 suggests it's still early game. I want to do late because we're in the second half of Area 2. We are past 50%. I'll keep it for now. We'll see if everyone feels like I've scammed them in this uh, <laughs> explanation. In this day, if it feels too early still. Right, okay. Um, well, I sort of know the area. We've done the cave corner. The, 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 the bridges corner. Oh, oh. Uh, those are just yellows, right? Or are they greens? They look green to me, but I, it's probably me. Right? <laughs> oh, or are they reds? Uh, it looks orange! What is this damn thing? It's yellows, okay. This would be a nice place to have a picnic. Well, I'm glad you think so. Ochi, can you help? Right, so. What we have right now is all this area done. There's apparently a cave here, behind an ice gate, behind all of these. Up and around that way, and a garlic clove. I'm not entirely sure how you reach it, but that's fine. We could do some bunch of blue stuff if we just take into the water. Um, so, yeah, we'll have a big blue rush and an ice rush and a little bit of yellows around. And that'll be the game plan. So, loads of blues, but not that many. Uh, 25 sounds good. Then a chunk of that. And like, I'm happy with that. Then we ride together at sunset, all collect together like here, get on down, and do all the other things we need to do. We also have Ochi, who can swim through the water. So that makes that a little easier as well. All right. This is just the, the dinky fun part of the game, as we just sort of do a little bit of the grind of life, you know? None of that hit for some reason, huh? You kidding me? Oh, 
Oh, did it just crash itself doing that? That's awesome. Oh! Oh, that's a treasure. I was like, what is that thing? Actually, that's perfect. Right, we'll have you guys on that, because I knew you needed it. Let's just have some music as we do some beats. Sure, why not? Welcome to Pikmin, everybody. This is the vibe, as we just sort of run around chaotically. even a chaotic part of the day. It's just passing the time. <laughs> Lovely. That sorts that. Best soundtrack ever. I agree. <laughs> Right, what do we got over here? Uh, a handful of things, but not too bad, huh? More enemies of all sorts, but it's pretty decent. This is not the same- is this a redesigned enemy from Pikmin 2 that they did in Pikmin 3? Or is it a slightly different species? Because I am genuinely confused sometimes, you know? Lovely. Right, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get Ochi now to... oops. We're gonna command Ochi to gather everybody. Um, which is gather Pikmin. Uh, ask Ochi to round up any stray Pikmin for you. You can come here as we move the base because all the Pikmin that are over here are done. They are not. They're almost done. Raw materials transported, lovely. That's them now all done. Looks like there's still a couple things going on here. Run away, blues! Beautiful stuff. Now they're done. They're totally done. Sure, sure, sure. So then, we'll have everybody on that. But we're going to reverse their order real quick because I'm going to get Ochi to do another command for everybody. As they do that, and we move the base over here. The Jousmoit is a Pikmin 3 enemy. The Cloaking Baronet is Pikmin 2, but similar design. That's right. That's what I was thinking of. Right, Ochi, what are you doing right now? You're running around somewhere. Doing something. All right, off you go, Ochi. Even though I like the soundtrack, the vibes more. Oh, that's fair enough. Is there a way you could layer the chat higher in OBS? The green flap is making it kind of hard to see. I'm afraid not really. I can only switch the sides that it's on. You haven't gathered any Pikmin, Ochi. All right, well, you know, whatever. Okay, this is the cave we're after. Cool. Uh, there's a treasure there. A treasure up there, and then how do we get to there? We we jump a bit. Okay. Um, actually. Well, we'll do some jumping. Ah, here we uh ah Oh, no, that's what we're after, is it? Oh gee, can you gather some Pikmin? I I, I need to work how this works. Off you go. Oh my god, you just did all that yourself? That's incredible. Come on, Ochi, bring everybody with you. Do you know what the green dog's name is? Yes, it's Moss. Not quite what one would expect, but yes, that is the name of it. 
Come on, Ochi. We're almost there. Run your little hind legs over. Lovely. In fact, Ochi, you can probably just work on that outright. Uh, uh, what? Oh, me tights! <laughs> I just sound like a Scottish man upset about his leg wear. Moss is sus. She had a leaf tail before Ollie Min happened. Ooh, that is ominous. <laughs> right, okay. So I can't get up there. Unless I'm mistaking it, because there's jars to break here. Also, this area's more done than I thought it was. Oh my god, they just love the metites in this area, don't they? Go, 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 go! Ochi, stop panicking, it's okay. There's loads of materials, I think, everywhere. Oh, okay, then over here is another cave. Okay, can we just not access this cave? That's been very confusing, but we'll get there in a bit, I guess. I'm making a bit of a mess of this day, I must admit, but it's fine. I'm really making a mess of this day! Jesus! Oh look, new treasure collected, isn't that cool? <sighs> I thought I saw an ice gate over here. What am I looking at? What's going on over here? I think I need to get a new, like, motion ability. I can't access anything at the moment. I've already done this gate. Nice one, me. But I haven't done that cave. So whatever's going on... It's all very confusing. Look at this, right? There's this massive mount. There's no bridge around it. You can be there, but you can't be there. And then the mound ends there. I think maybe I can't 100% this place. It's also slower on Moss uh, on Ochi now, which is very strange. Okay. Well, we can go in here. Again, this is like surrounded in everywhere. In every form. There's clearly like a divot there, but it's just one big mount. Oh, hello. Where is it? Where's the yellow gone? It drowned on like the other side of the earth. I heard it. Well, it's probably fine. Right. Dash into weird pots. Uh, I mean, there were the pots earlier. Is that going to open up the path? Oh, does it make a bridge? No, because I still can't access that. Doesn't now we access that one? I'm gonna do the cave first, but um, this is all very interesting and confusing. Oh, the yellow got up there of all places. Are you kidding me? Screw it. <laughs> 
Daz the Farlic. Yeah, no, you threw it onto the Farlic. Man. Ah, okay. Maybe there's a cave connected to the higher point. That's also logical. Yes, I forget about that. Okay, we'll, we'll see. We'll, we'll just go with it where we are and hope for the best. Whoops, sorry, screwing things up. There we go. Sightless passage, a cave of utter darkness into which almost no light filters. I explored for a bit, relying on the glowing shrooms to guide the way, but I turned back to avoid unnecessary risk. I wish I had a better headlamp at my disposal. I'm starting to regret this bargain. Bye. I like it. There's me thinking I'm good at the game. Turns out when I don't know what's going on, I'm just as trash as everybody else. <laughs> this is one of the harder early caves. Well, I probably shouldn't have read that. Well, that's enough of a guide. I'll allow it. But all right. Vague tips like that, I think, are okay. <laughs> Sorry, I read it just as a moderator said it. Kee hee! It was wise to bring a headlamp. Yes, yes, we know. Um, okay. Ah, there must be a castaway nearby. Okay, we don't want to go down there. Full stop. Oh, water dumples! Hello! Are you just as awful as always? Yeah, yeah, you kind of are. That's okay. Ochi, if you could. Love for you to do that. Thank you. Oh! Okay, well that didn't work very well. Come on, Ochi, you can get him! Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Okay, we have another breakable gate. No idea where. So then. Man, this is dark, isn't it? Ooh, it's a deer. It's a cartridge. Oh. Hello. Hello. Okay, okay, getting into it. I like how it all loops up. Oh, this is like classic cave designs with like the cross that's like all comes together in the end. I like it. We still got a nice collection over here though. Why have I gone so high up? Why has it done that to me? Oh, these guys grew with flowers on their heads and everything. They're giving me everything. Very nice. Very friendly. We're practically done. Banned for major spoiler. Good. I'm glad you caught it. Thank you so much, Beaver. I appreciate it. Silly, stupid people. I wonder if it was malice. I have no idea. Was it malice or was it uh, stupidity? Either way, shame on them. Oh, it's Mittites. Hello. <laughs> Ochi ran up to it, eager, and then ran away in fear. I feel that really, like, lines up just all Pikmin behavior. Any more fire over there? I feel like it could be. Electric gate demolished. Love that. And then something for Ochi over here. Okay. Right. Uh, let's have you on that. You can run through here and break this. Okay. Interesting. Mods are on point. Keep up the good work. Yes, they are. Great stuff. Banned you deceiver. It's very true. We don't want... Daz is trying to play with no boss spoilers. Yes, you're right. You may be timed out or banned. Great stuff.
Yes! New base unlocked! Oh, we'll get over here! <laughs> I like how it pushes everything away. Um, did it leave people at the last base? No, it didn't. It just teleports everyone. That's really cool. Come on then, everybody. Oh, everybody's flowers now? Oh, almost. That's not quite what I asked of you, but it's fine. Yeah, you... What? You you pressed the wrong... You didn't do the right thing. Even Ochi can't chew his way through this one. Well, yeah. Oh. Oh, hold on. Is that an electric one? Is that an electric... Oreo sandwich? That I'm witnessing here? I think it is. I don't think this guy's fire at all. Look at that. Electro Man. Oh, and he's still alive even when he's dead. Beautiful! Oh, satisfying. Well, I mean, he went down very quickly, so he couldn't have been that satisfying, but, you know. Very good, very nice. Oh. Oh, we do have a castaway here. I can hear it blinking now. Dirt wall demolished. Beautiful stuff, everybody. It's all coming together. Oh, you guys all got stuck with the nectar. What are you doing? <laughs> Killing when dead. Wally hop moment. Yep, you're very right. That's exactly it. Did that just heal me? Incredible stuff. Okay. Um... Why do I hear echoed Pikmin? Is that a scale? Am I looking at a scale right now? What's going on? This is a great cave level, by the way. And these are all so big. Each one of these floors is like massive. I could have gone this way this whole time. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what am I doing in my life? Pyroclasmic Slooch. That's what it was. I was trying to remember the name of it. But I just kept thinking slug. Like fire slug. But that's what I named it in the trailer. I'm thinking of the sand belching mere slug. <gasps> oh, do you think any classic Pikmin 3 bosses are going to make an appearance? That'll be weird. Like, will I see the quaggled Myoclops? Oh, that'll be so interesting. Probably not, right? I'm not expecting them. I don't know what I'm expecting, though, to be honest. Okay, so we have our exit ready. Which gets us on the other side after all that. Typical. Yep, yeah, that's fine. And also already out. Why is there an exit and 40% done? Ah. I'm never ready for this, this puzzle. Lovely. Okay. 40% done. Because there's treasure there. Maybe there's just not that many treasures. I mean, I guess that's plausible too. This is another... Wait, is this a new... Have I just walked somewhere bad? Am I in the bad Am I in the bad? Is this the bad place? No. No, I've been here before. This is definitely a path somewhere. Yeah, look at that. And then there's a there's a ring up there. It's an OG thing. I gotta bash it, don't I? Patron. 
Puddle? It's Puddle. Oh, what an awful name for a poodle. Enohe, a stylist with clients all over the universe. Just say the word and he'll unleash his fashionable skills at lightning speed. What is a stylist doing here of all places? I was just thinking that. He must have had a reason for coming to this planet. Curious. Well, we'll figure that out after you get him back here. <laughs> Strange. Oh, man. Because that's not it. Find the leafling with the dog. 60% done, which means there's still two things. There's a collection of yellows there. Ah, and like these here. Okay, and here's what we'll do. We'll have you just head over here. And we'll have you head over here. In the meantime, can someone tell me, have I, do I know how to do that thing over there? Do I know how to open that pipe, or is that a thing I need to get later, and I need to come back to this place? Uh, I assume it's something that, um, that I need to come back to. Oh yes, I never looked through these bars. I did see this pot, but I didn't think anything of it. I just thought it was background stuff. Why am I frozen? My entire thing is frozen long term. There we go. Did that look weird to anybody else? Oh man, I'm getting some real lag now. Ooh, okay, hold on. What's happened here? It's not my phone. I think maybe I just need a moment. I mean, how far in are we? We're at, we are five hours in. Hmm. You just go up, press A, and Ochi will enter. Only Ochi. Ah, okay. Sorry about the lag. I'm seeing the lag as well, which is, I guess, a nice benefit. Okay, thank you for that. They never taught us that, I don't think. Or if they did, I don't remember it. Okay, interesting. It was just a one floor pace. Here we go. Enter! Well, look at that. Is their lag still going? My laptop switched off to a different page entirely. That's interesting as well. Where did my... What? My laptop has completely, like, d removed the page I was on. Chrome crashed on my laptop. But my computer was lagging. Huh? Am I still lagging? Is it still weird? What's going on? That's so strange. I see people do big streams in pieces. Maybe YouTube doesn't like really long ones. That's plausible. Um, I mean, I've been stopping and starting recording, which is completely separate. Um, is it internet based? Like, is... Can you guys... Oh, I can't see anything. Okay, no, I can see myself. Low quality. That's so strange. I can hear myself now, and it's fine. Is it a... It's fully functional? Looks fine? No, it's okay? Okay. N if we lag crash again, let me know. Just shout at me if there's ever an issue. Just be like, lag! Crashed! Goodbye, Daz. I guess you don't like us anymore. Something like that. And then I'll know. I might stop streaming next time and then start it again, especially as we come closer to the 12 hour mark, which is technically six hours. Um, we'll see. Um, yes, we'll, we'll, we'll try and get by. I can't believe it's just the A button. Come on, Ochi. There you go, you're getting it. Right, who do you think is gonna get there first? The dog next to the ship or the guy actually running quickly? Oh, ominous. What a what an eclectic race this is becoming. Crazy how that works. Okay. 80% done. What's left? Oh, it's it's this tiny thing, isn't it?
My dog is okay. She's sleeping with my mother. Ah. Oh. That sounds very sweet. Hiya. Did you want me to take on the eggs? Are there mittites in here? No. We're missing something here. How is it 80% done? Is it an enemy? Have I left an enemy around? What is that? I'm using up my entire one-sixth of time passing, but it's okay. Oh, it's just another base. No, this is the original base, so it's like, that's not going to change anything, is it? I don't think so. No. And then and now Ochi can go to the other one. There's Pikmin left over here. Is that what they're upset about? Ochi's dead eyes give me life. Well, I'm glad they give you life compared to his death. The deathly look. Like, I'm not seeing anything else on this map. Oh? Oh. That's what it all was. It's like a tiny crystal. A symbol we've never even seen before here. Is that what I am to believe? No. What, huh? Where? What was that symbol? Oh, that was where we were going to. Nobody knows what this is, huh? Have I glitched the game? Did I leave something out? Is there something underneath the base that's supposed to be there? I don't think so. Okay. We might just have to leave that as a mystery, you know. Is it because I didn't break the gate? No, that those are unbreakable gates. <sighs> I must have left a Pikmin. Use Ochi scent, maybe. You're a genius. Follow the scent, Ochi. Okay, yes. Oh, you're so good at this. I pressed B to whistle and it disappeared. Damn it. <laughs> Genuine mystery, this is. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. Ah, understandable mistake. It's a pregnancy test. That's what we were missing. Oh, of course. Thanks, Pikmin. Thank you for causing us a long delay to show us a pregnancy test. Wow. That's my life, huh? Am I reading that wrong? Is it a thermostat? It could be a thermostat. You know what? That makes more sense. <laughs> you know? Yeah, now I look at it better. <laughs> I was like, you're kidding me. They're not making Pikmin do a, a pregnancy test, are you? No, it's a, it's an electric thermos, like a bee <laughs> oh, I'm Man. Oops. <laughs> Come on, it's, the, like, it's, it's just the difference between a number and a plus and a negative. It's basically the same. Oh boy, okay. Well, that's enough of that. <laughs> ah, genius me. Okay, we got the heat sensor, not the life sensor, the hoop of healing, the micromanagement station, and the masterpiece plank. I love it. Lovely. Thank God it isn't a P test. Yeah, yeah, I'm glad, you know. <laughs> Okay, um, we got some cavely things to handle next. 
Uh, I desire no Pikmin. If I have to, I'll have 20 ice in case that's what's needed for the ice gate going forwards. Uh, 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 hold on. Ah! Here we are! You were right, it is another exit. I was like, what is that? I have a Mamuta friend. Is it singing? Or is that always just what it, that's just what it sounds like? Well, thank you. Does this count as a new creature if I do this? Sorry to be so cheap, but I, uh... I desire for you to be in my Piclopedia, Mamuta. You look beautiful. I love you as you are. But yes, you do need to disappear now. Thank you. Come again. Bye-bye. Oh, and of course you have stuff. Off you go, Oach. What is that? It's gigantic. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh my god, this feels out of bounds. And I need yellows. Love that for me. Come on, guys. We need to run a bit faster than that. Oh, wait. There's no cave here, then. There's only that cave, and I have to do that a special different route. Okay, then it's fine. Oh, my God. They're giant. Are the materials always that big? Maybe they are. Uh, we need yellows. 20. 10 is fine. And 10 blues. Oh, but I can't go there at all now. Because I need the cave entrance to go around. No, no, I can. I can, because we just opened the way. What am I doing? The Mamuta is a cool guy. I agree. Mamuta is probably one of my favorite enemies. Especially in this game with the fur. It's really nice. Okay, so we're not getting that final cave in this day. Um, you know, a lot of extra elements are needed, unfortunately, for it. But. Excuse me? Lovely. Stray Pikmin is, uh, god, that's so much more reverbed than usual. I think we're okay. No, we're not. It's all those blues there. There he is. OG came back to you. Oh, thanks. Oh, is it playing the theme? <gasps> what is that? Like the Valley of Repose on the, on the Twinkler? It could be. That's so nice. Where are our missing Pikmin? You're lying to me. Is it these guys you're worried about? Oh, it's it's the ones that are there. Of course it is. I love that music box. The, oh, it's the Pikmin 3 main theme. Da, 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 da. That's so sweet. That's so cool. I can skip the whole next area, it feels like. You two are naturals of this exploration stuff, Daz and Ochi. You've collected so much energy, I think we can fully restore the SS Shepherd. Fully restore? What do you mean? Have I found the last area already? No way. What's going on here? Oh, I see. If I hold down the button, I suddenly go into, like, motion to tech mode. That's easier. Ouch! Come on, everybody. Do your best, everybody. Lovely stuff, everybody. Good stuff. The last cave in this area is one of my favorites. Oh, interesting. Apparently they always had fur. It's just the limitation of the console that were made that made them look like stone. I could see that. Wow, Daz. Now you're the same on Sparkling as an insane dude was in the demo. Wow, I finally caught up. It only took me 11 hours and 43 minutes instead of 17. <laughs> look at me go. <laughs> Oh, man, yeah. 7,000, here we are. Mm. 
Let's see it. God, it, are, are we gonna get a hundred captains at this rate? It sort of feels like it sometimes. They seem so big compared to the Pikmin, you know? Right, let's see what's going on here, shall we? We've got enough energy stored that we should have no problem starting the SS Shepherd's engine. Wow, as in like, we can leave leave at this rate? Like, is that what they're telling me? What does, what does this in like mean? What does this translate to mean? That's what I want to know now. I'll make sure the ignition is functioning properly. Oh, oh, oh. I, I just assumed we were living here. So I guess the main story's done. Now we can take off at any time. If only we could find our pilot. Until then, the SS Shepherd remains grounded. There you are. Bloody bug man, where are you? At least we got Puddle, the stylist. So we don't have to worry about becoming a leafling. Ah, <sighs> oh well. The Mechanical Harp Memory Song. Oh, I hope it does all of them. All sorts of songs. The Shaker Smile. The All of These Ones. The Harmonic Synthesizer, like before. The Orbital Communication Sphere. I like it. The Unfloatable Boat. And the Octoplus? Oct Octopius. Or something like that. Nice. The final cave has a, a tick Pikmin type in it, I guess. Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> Speaking of shiny hunter, I accidentally got a shiny Chincho whilst re trying to breed the better ability and best nature. Very well done. I could I could see myself being a Pokemon shiny hunter one day, but I don't know if I've got the time, you know? But you know what we do have time for? Now that we are here at the night time of Pikmin, we can have a look underneath the stars. Eh? I think that'd be quite nice. Uh, oh, the sound's not going to translate over, is it? It's going to disappear here. No, it might not. Uh, no, no, it's gone. Oh, well, then we'll have our own music. This seems a little bit sad, but, um, oh, well. Olimar would have been sad looking up at the skies. I am now going back to that lore thing of I'm actually in the game. I'm going to look up to the skies. And, you know, I think I've seen recently, having come back to the Pikmin unit, the community, it's changed in a lot of ways that have been fantastic to see without me. Um, but I do want to say one thing, because uh, I've never actually found the opportunity to mention it, and I'd like to. Um, people have learned more about their identity in the 10 years since the old Pikmin 3 days. And though I've heard that there are some Pikmin memes that are a little bit more of the homophobic side, for some reason, I don't know, it's ironic, it's weird. Um, if you are someone who is not of the classic default that someone would assume you are, you matter. And I like to think in this Pikmin community, you will be supported by the vast majority. So no matter who you are or how you feel, you matter. And uh, is this next song going to be out of beat? Oh, it's just going to play the same one twice. Well, there you are. Pikmin is, you know, gives a moment of pause sometimes when you look up at the skies. I just wanted to say that. I didn't find another opportunity to mention it somewhere. Feels a bit weird to pull out of nowhere. I still feel a bit weird mentioning it now. Um, but a lot of people that I've come to learn of Pikmin fans are a little bit, you know, special in their own way. And they all matter and they're all valid. And I don't know where else I would find it, but I want you to know that at least on this channel, you will be forever supported no matter how you are or how you feel. And all that good stuff, you know? Um, I would never want this to be a toxic place for you. It's life. Anyway, uh, that's all from me. I had a whole list of other things I was going to mention, but apparently it's the first one that came to my mind with this slightly sad vibe. Ah, oh, well. Who'd have thought uh, a species all about flowers would, uh, would be a little bit beside the norm, huh? Maybe there's a correlation there. I'm the, I'm the, uh, the external exterior version. What's the word? Outlier in that case. But oh, well. Anyway, we're back to this now. What's going on this night? I'm lost. Uh, that's interesting. So you press X and it orders Pikmin to charge. It's been 15 days, Shepard. 
Uh, ah, yes, the power of science is nothing to scoff at. It makes all things possible. See, if you change the frequency like this, now you can make anyone charge. Let me show you. Okay, we will actually getting in a real tutorial. What's happening? My body, it's like it's moving all by itself. Stop, stop that right now. What do you think you're doing, Ross? Hee <laughs> I was just showing you how to use it in case of an emergency. I will do everything in my power to make sure that emergency never ever occurs. Nice. Um, lovely. Uh, any of these I've done? No, I'm just poor at all the things I do. That's fine. Right, uh, it's time for a new morning, but I think I need a brief little pee break, but that's alright, because I've got an ad, an ad by me ready for you to see. I apologise, I've been drinking two giant bottles and a half a monster can. Don't know if you noticed, so uh, give me one second and I will be right back. In the meantime, uh, well, here's more me. <laughs> Hi there again, it's me, it's Pee Break Daz, how are you all doing? I don't even know if I'm going to pee, I might have gone downstairs to have lunch. Probably not. I do a lot of peeing. Anyway, hey, I'm here to help pass the gap so that you always have a little bit of Daz content, even when Daz literally has to vanish. I'm filming this the night before, so I'm a little bit uh, sweaty, panicked, and stressed. There's a lot of details going into this stream. I don't know why I love overcomplicating everything, including making this the background, and apparently that's part of the law. Or, or something. Great, it's the aesthetic. I need to get away from that side. I keep cutting my hand off. Uh, anyway, I have a topic for you this uh, this pee break. What a surprise, eh? And it is, what is it? I've forgotten it already. Ah, that's it. It's Discord. So, I am not familiar with Discord five years ago. Five years ago, I wasn't very familiar with it, right? I apparently had an old fan Discord from Pikmin people back in the day, and then I was so inactive because I didn't understand the platform that it dissolved into a general gaming server. No idea where it went, no idea who was involved. I'm just old boomer man. However, I am back now and we have a functioning Discord. We have had one for two to three years now. If you... Oh god, I need to make commands after this. Sure, if you put in... I don't have a bot in chat. Uh, hey! If anyone's rel knows of the Discord, plug it in chat. You know what, maybe just, just Google Dad's reviews in Discord and it will probably pop up. I'm pretty sure it's a public server. Or look at the link in the description. Bam, there you go. In the description is a link tree and all of our links all in one place and one of them is Discord. Here's the disclaimer about it though. It is a main channel Dad's reviews Discord. If you haven't noticed, this is being streamed on Dad's reviews too. It's an entirely separate channel. It's the, you know, it's the old Let's Play channel. This does gaming stuff and I'm not actually a gaming YouTuber as my main, my main real job, you know? I'm a movie YouTuber, that's what I've become in the re recent years. I don't know if anyone knows that, I don't know if there's like, the Pikmin community doesn't know that. I, I don't know how, and uh, my branding's everywhere, I don't know what I am, I'm having an identity crisis online, okay? But the point is, this Discord is generally a big movie Discord. But, if you go into it, you'll see all sorts of discussion options and suggestions for videos for the main channel. And down below a little bit, I am expanding a second channel segment as well. I didn't expect the music to stop so soon. Oops, let me restart that. Now this one down here does have little things like Pikmin chats and stream suggestions and stuff like that. I would love for you to come in, come in, get involved and use even this secondary segment of the server and I would like to upgrade it and expand it over time. It generally, it's kept quite small because it's pretty inactive. Pikmin, pretty unactive two years ago. Understandable, right? We, we weren't all frothing at the mouth of Hey Pikmin now, were we? Um, but, if you haven't already, and you'd like to get a little bit more involved, maybe get a chance to interact with other people in this community that I would love to... I was gonna say harvest, but I meant that in like the, the gardening thesaurus element, not in the extracting side of things. If you want to interact with other people in our community, go to that Discord server, and uh, we'll, we'll start making upgrades, okay? I'm here now, I want to start farming this, growing this, cultivating! That's the gardening... That's the gardening termination terminology I'm looking for. 
I am not a thesaurus at 11.09 at night, it turns out. But either way, yes, this was the plug to tell you, come to our Discord. Not only should you give suggestions for future streams we can do, uh, but also, perhaps, suggestions on how to improve the Discord itself. I am a bit of a boomer when it comes to, like, building Discord. There's a lot of tools and services you can use. I don't fully understand it, but if you're a bit of a... If you're a bit of a Discord head, or you just generally have ideas like, oh, we should have a, a Pikmin music chat log, I can make it. Give us the suggestions. We have a channel in there that is Discord suggestions. So there's video suggestions for the main channel, Discord suggestions for Discord changes, and then stream suggestions. They're all in there. Find your peoples, do your thing, and hopefully we can start, you know, building up all of this again. We've been on pause for a few years. But I am fully invested to make this a proper thing that we're going to build back up to again. And I hope you just join me along the way. And if not, hey, you know, we'll always be here on YouTube. We'll be doing regular posts. I will be keeping this channel going from this point on. I've got a goal in mind. I have a, a muse to work on and all that. So um, stick around and hopefully you enjoy everything we're up to. Anyway, that was a solid 4 minutes and 48 seconds. I'm going to have to... Uh, that's enough time to pee, right? Yeah, it should be fine. I have an ensuite now. I moved I moved house. It's just right there. We'll be fine. I'm going to disappear now and uh, back to your regularly scheduled Daz, eh?